ladies and gentlemen, the CDC um, put out these numbers, and this is um, in response to Pennsylvania declaring a disaster emergency in their states due to the rising opioid deaths that are taking place there. And it's rising in probably over, probably about half of the country right now. Um, and so remember these numbers always lag behind about a year. So the numbers for 2017 will not come out until the end of 2018. So right now we're looking at 2016 numbers and I will leave the link to the CDC report in the description box. Overdose death data is what we're about to see. So the opioid, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> and prescription illicit are the main drivers in the drug overdose deaths that are taking place around the country. So the opioids were involved in 42,249 deaths in 2016, and opioid overdose deaths were five times higher in 2016 than in 1999. In 2016, the five states with the highest rates of deaths due to drug overdose were West Virginia with 52 per 100,000. And Ohio, 39.1 per 100,000. New Hampshire, 39 per 100,000. Pennsylvania, 37.9 per 100,000. And Kentucky, 33.5 per 100,000. All right. So those are pretty high. Significant increases in drug overdose death rates from 2015 to 2016 were seen in the Northeast, Midwest, and South Census regions. States with statistically significant increases in drug overdose death rates include Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, Ohio, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Vermont, Virginia, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. All right. So those are the states that saw increases in death. So if you look at the map right here, the states that are in red show the ones that have experienced a significant increase in drug deaths. All right, so those are your states in red. The states that are in the gray, things are about the same. So they have not experienced more or less deaths so far. But you know, everything changes so fast in this country. Okay. So I see my state in there and it's in red right here, New Jersey. And we already know Pennsylvania, which is right next to it, they're having some pretty bad problems going on there. Wow, New Jersey is really not that small. Percentage change, 42.3. see Florida. 46.3. And that's per 100,000. That's a lot. I mean, things are really bad in the nation as far as this drug plague is concerned. And I guess, it, you know, with the disaster emergency is because 
they know this thing is not turning around. You know, it, it's really surprising. And I'm, I'm very glad that the black community was able to bounce back from the crack epidemic of nothing else. You know, you're going to always have people doing crack, but the big bulk of the epidemic is pretty much done as far as our community is concerned. But we will see how this year turns out in comparison to all of the others um, previous years. So in 2018, we will not get the numbers until 2019. But this shows you it's really bad, y'all. It is really, really bad in this nation. And it's increasing every single day. And I was reading an article last year that said there are more people going on drugs, um, legal and illegally, in this country every day than there are people getting off of the drug. And when you look at a map like this, it's not hard to believe. It really, truly is not. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comments and subscribe. And don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And also, um, please join me over on Black Junction TV and also on BlackSpot.com. Peace, family. Thank <laughs> you.